North Andover. Um, we do not have any um, offline attendance tonight, um, so everyone's participating in person. Um, but if meetings, members of the public who wish to watch the meeting may do so on their televisions by tuning to Comcast Channel 8, Verizon Channel 26, or online at www.northandovercam.org. Every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time uh, via technology, via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post on the town website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. If the public would like to participate in the public meeting, please email your questions or comments prior to or during the meeting to CPC emails at northandoverma.gov. The question or comment will be provided to the committee before the meeting or read during the proceedings if received during or shortly before the meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're in a new session, we've called it, and we always start off with a reorganization. Um, so we'll open the floor for nominations. Uh, we'll start with nominations for chair. I'd like to nominate you, Bill. Any seconds? Some second. All right. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We'll have a unanimous. I guess I didn't vote. So. <laughs> all right. Uh, now we'll Congratulations. Um, thank you. Now we'll open nominations for vice chair. Uh, any nominations? I'll help folks consider Adam. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. That was quick. Uh, so that was item number one. Um, we'll get that done. Okay. Um, next, FY26 calendar. Um, it was distributed in the meeting packets, but we'll keep our consistent sort of second Thursday of the month routine. Um, I think the more important thing to talk about is the deadlines and when we're going to start doing that, if there's no objection to leading that in. So thank you, Zach, for putting this together and sort of building on what we've done in previous years. But our notice of project intent application deadline is 11-29-2024. So we're trying to get those in at the end. Um, and that allows us to schedule meetings with applicants who have, you know, what I would, you know, who have projects that might be in the infant stage or need some more guidance um, and we we'll get them in. We'll get them in in January and December. The formal application deadline will be the last day of January, 1-31-2025. And then we'll start with the formal project review um, in February. And we've scheduled four meetings. February and March are usually our busiest months anyway, because uh, we usually want to hear and then vote and hear and then vote uh, based on the projects. Um, so that would put us with, you know, our last meeting on applications, uh, March 20th. Um, and then we'll have an April meeting, you know, an April meeting on the calendar early um, to finalize things before the warrant and a second one in case anything else comes up. And we'll, we'll do what we usually have done, which is if we need the meeting, we'll have the meeting. You know, we might not need the meeting. We might be all set. You know, knock on wood, we're all set in early April. Uh, annual town meeting, I don't think the date has been set yet, but it's in May, but that'll give us plenty of time. Uh, okay. I was caught a little off guard. The deadlines were pretty early on getting the written stuff in. So I, um, sorry, I thought I'd silence this. Um, so I was caught a little bit off guard, but I scrambled. You know, we had everything done. I just, we'll make sure to coordinate with um, the town managers, make sure we have our stuff in early enough for the warrant. Um, any questions on the schedule? So a couple months we have two meetings again, correct? Right. Yep. Right. I did try to, we did try to miss the vacation weekend, week. So in case Thank people you. are away in February. Um, I, I have a real question maybe between you and Zach about, is there, I'll use the word campaign, to get people excited, informed. I know there's a public meeting in November. Yeah, I forgot to but, mention but that. The, yeah, but the point of the matter is, is that it just seems like 
you know, we have the same people who submit right. the applications. Uh, all good projects, but uh, mm -hmm. it's like, what else is out there? And right. people know that they can do it. So I mentioned Zach only because you got the touch on the media being able to get that information out. It'd be great if we could get a message out, even just an email mm -hmm. to residents. Like literally anybody right. Right, can come forward here with an idea, and we, you know, be great to yeah. hear as Tim said from new applicants. Mm -hmm. They have that. I know it's periodic newsletter that the crazy with newsletter. the property tax bills quarterly. Yeah, you know? yeah. But also too in the email, there's something that says here are the upcoming events yeah. with it, right. things like that. But the, I think last year, we, I just did, I remember we sent out like a poster of some kind, some sort of post on social media, but I don't know, maybe there's more creative ways. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things I, I, I think we need to do, given that we uh, funded <coughs> the um, Unitarian Church this past year, I, I don't know, Bill, if you ever talked to the the other churches, but we ought yeah. to prod them because yeah. that's that's no. constituency. You know very clearly, we you know we should treat everybody equitably. I think yeah. in the churches. Yeah. So yeah. no, I reached out to the Trinitarian Church and the uh, and St. Paul's. Oh, okay. Um, at the con at the end of last year, yeah. To say like you know start your engines, um, and get going if you want to come with projects. So did you get any? Feedback I got feedback from, from the Saint Trinitarians. Paul's I did not hear back from St. Paul's, but oh, really? I do have another connection there, so I'll email. I'll email him. I, yeah, I, I mean, went I, through I, the website I, and I met the name of the guy. Troy, do you remember the name of the guy that we dealt with when they proposed their thing? Yeah, but they, the person who uh, they, they resigned. Oh, okay. So I think there's going to be new people there. And, and okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll send another email through the through their website and. You know, if anybody has a, a better connection uh, for, you know, a warm reception, basically, someone who's looking out for the email and can know where to send it. But the Trinitarian replied, the Trinitarian Church replied, you know. Have you gotten any feedback, Bill, from any organization? Just out of curiosity, do we have any idea of, of projects that we might see this we year? We did get a um, notice of intent from um, the Kachikawit Lodge, the Masons. Um, that's right next to the youth center, between the youth center and the, what do you call that block there, yeah. where uh, Cows Rock is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right, so they have a, they want to do a roof. So I said, you know, come early, and I also said, go to the Historic Commission, you know, get your history together and go to the Historic Commission, because that would be a, you know, Historic I mean, preservation. One of the things, but uh, this was sort of an, an idea that it, I had had that I think I do want to bring forward, but I, I kind of I got to find somebody to actually do it because I don't want to do it myself, obviously. Is um, uh, small grants that we would give for historical preservation. Right. Uh, if you remember, we had the person with the barn or something right, that right. you know they kind of had already done the work, but it might be a useful idea to. To basically have people come and put their ideas forward and get a few thousand dollars in, in lieu of that, you know, they, they have to give some pictures to the historical society or something like that, you know, it's, um, you know, again, it might, it, it might work, it might not, I don't know, I mean, it's, 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 it's worth discussing. Right. Because um, I think the intent really is to broaden. This right. is a case of broadening and introduce to anybody that has a historical property, uh, mm -hmm. because some people that have historical properties have a lot of money, but yeah. a lot of people don't, mm -hmm. and that makes it really hard to refurbish the property when you don't have deep pockets. And so, you know, giving somebody a few thousand dollars might make a difference in preserving the property. So, yeah. Yeah. also, um, we kind of made a connection with the uh, high school last year with that cross country project mm -hmm. and the. You know, the Usler parcel and the, the work with the cross country, the new cross country course. Um, I was thinking um, it, it, it might, might make sense to invite them uh, if they have like a media production mm -hmm. course, kind of make it a course for them uh, or, or have them do a project in support of community preservation, which we've 
help them with mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of say, you know, if we could supply them with uh, prominent projects, large, small, historic, open space, affordable housing, that they could just make into like a 10 or 15 minute video that we could post on the website and um, yeah. I don't know, you know, it, it would be an outreach, right, uh, but, right, but, yeah. but it would be, it should cover all kinds of projects, large, small, mm -hmm. you know, all, all different areas and I just just in, increase the awareness, it'd be an easy thing to do, right? or right, an easy right. way to get that across if we could ever convince our uh, media production people at the high school to do it. So. Okay. So just just an idea, um, and I, I know we've got enough seniority here on this committee that we could easily, I think, come up with a list of mm -hmm. projects that we could we could focus on. Right. right, right. Yeah. No. I'll, I talked to Eva from Hemori from the um, North Andover Improvement Society, so they're aware, and I'll make sure I'll forward the everything over to them. But. I think that was a Patriots Park it was a good project. That's a good project. Yeah. 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 Um, in, in the track, because uh, it's used for so much more than just cross country. You know, there's so many people walk on it because yeah. you don't. It's cut so short that yeah. there's no ticks or, or anything when you're out there walking. So a lot of people use it. So. Now may not. Now a good time. On the 25th of this month, which is a. Wednesday, the Historic Preservation Plan Public Workshop is being held at the Senior Center at 6 o'clock. This is one of the funded CPC projects that we had, and the guy's been going like gangbusters, pulling together all kinds of material and doing the surveys, um, and um, there might be something fodder out of that meeting that uh, I may glean. I'm definitely going to that meeting, so... You go no, with that? Great. I will be there. Yeah. Okay. And the the um, person who's, in, you know, that we're hiring the historical consultants going to be doing like most of the presentation work, but I'll be there doing the introduction and maybe answer some questions. Um, and I was going to, I'll send like another reminder um, just to this channel about the meeting, but I would appreciate it. You, know, you know, how I found out about it was um, through that weekly bulletin. Yeah. I, didn't oh, I, did. so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. All right, so I... Bottom line is, it notes. seems like there's a consensus that we need some sort of PR yeah. campaign. Before that. Let people yeah. know where we're at, what we do, and that they... Uh, that this board and its money is accessible to them if they're interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, um... You know, it's funny, when everybody... Since I joined the board, whenever I talk about it, uh, I would say 98% of people have no idea what we do. Right, but when I say, you know that line on your on your uh, tax bill, oh yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> right? Everybody recognizes that. Um, so I wonder, you know, can we throw in a flyer with folks' tax, you know, when they get their tax bill? You you're paying for it, um, you know, and this is what we do, and and um, just to see if we can get more people engaged in the process. Good. So I took those down, and um, you know I think we we should, you know, if we could all sort of undertake some outreach of our own, and then we'll yep. work with Zach to get some class out. But I think it's important too. It's like the the personal touch to call somebody up and say like I know That's you right. lead an organization or have this interest. You know, look what can look what can happen. I mean, I love the boat ramp project just because it was like a guy who had a problem and. You know, went at it and fixed it, yeah. and really, you know, that'll be done soon. Yeah. Are the funds? Are the, yeah. Yeah. Are the funds all disseminated for everything that we approved, or how does that? Yeah, work? as of January, July one, they can go out and start doing things. I think sometimes the delay is. I don't know if you can actually do the bids before the money is in the account. You have to wait until. Gotcha. You know. 
you actually have funding for the project to go out to bid. So that slows things down. But and obviously the, the biggest project that we approved last year um, was the one that was rejected at Town Hall with the RecPlex. Mm. Do we have an understanding of uh, how that project's going to move forward? I know that's probably a Rick question, but... Yeah. I haven't heard anything yet. Um, Working on some things. Yeah. Anything you want to share with us? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, so I got that. Any other questions on the calendar or the public meeting? Okay. CPC financials. Uh, oh man, I cannot read this to save my life. Uh, <laughs> okay, even, when I even when I blow it up. Let me see. Yeah. Zach, you want to give us a quick overview? I mean, I think <laughs> yeah. it's more important later in the year, but. No, I can I can do it. I just gotta okay. download it and put yeah. it in Adobe. But even that, this is it fuzzy. Yeah, yeah, no, I gotta download it. You can hit control. It. Yeah, and no, I, I'm, if I did it download. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, right there. If I open it in Adobe, it'll show more clearly. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I should do this before I get in. Okay, so, you know, our ending balance is 17 million. Obviously, we have a lot encumbered that we haven't used. Um, and, you know, we're on, ta we're on track to collect 2.48. Uh, so that's about where we thought we'd be. You know, 2.5 is, I think, what we used in our estimate. How does that so. compare to last year? Pretty similar. About the same. Yeah. yeah. So we'll so take a how look. Much are, how much are we getting in the match? Uh, are we getting five bill? Are we getting at least five hundred thousand, or is it going to be less than that? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I see all the things from Stewart. Yeah. Uh, Don't look good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Didn't Laurie say they were going to come for the Stevens Estate for? The driveway or something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't somebody else own the Stevens estate now? They don't own it. They lease it. Yeah. They lease it, but, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, you know. I'll just go right to the CPA website. I'll take a look at it. It does, it does cost. Yeah. One thing to go up is nothing that's been at a wedding in Ango down. <laughs> <laughs> Usually in the news, they'll have like the. All right, so the fall. All right. 14.4. Um, and we'll get additional in rounds two and three. So 14.4 is kind of our floor, so the, and we could 375. Yeah, yeah. they're out for 100 probably. Yeah, better yeah. than nothing. Yeah. No more salad days, but we are getting a lot of interest. So we had 500,000, 540,000. Well, that's the deep dark year. secret. It's the last couple of years because the interest rates are higher. That will start to go down again. This yeah. Is the, uh, yeah. But that that's that's helped us a lot. Yeah. You know? Any other? Can, can you get interest on the money you've already accounted for? Already let you if it's not spent, it yeah. can be yeah. covered. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, not to yeah. 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 They've done a really good job. Okay. I mean, part of the argument on the rec bucks will be it's we've probably accumulated a couple million dollars worth of interest that you don't see. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any, any more That's questions? Right. All right. The next one is a memo from the finance department about two projects. The Affordable Housing Trust, uh, project number 1409, with $0 in, from FY24, uh, with $0 remaining. And the Stevens Estate 
stables, uh, 1408 in the fiscal year 24, zero dollars remaining. Uh, do we have any motions relative to those two projects? Make a motion to close 1409 and 1408. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Knock that out. Good. Okay, uh, then we have some, why don't we just stop for one second and put this on the agenda as a whole, but if there's anything we want to do in October, uh, because it's November is the public hearing, so we kind of have an agenda for that, but if there's anything anybody wants to come back with for that, I would say let's do it. I'll talk to Zach a little bit about getting in contact with a couple projects. We'll go through the projects, you know, line by line and kind of see like, are any of these, you know, we need to talk to? Like, the one that comes to mind most strongly is the, the mill building at the bottom of Sutton, Sutton Mill. I mean, that money's, we've had that money allocated for five years or so. Uh, so I think we, we definitely got to talk about that one. Um, and I know there's been some, we're talking about d taking a different approach with that building and so forth. So I will definitely ask about that. Well, they were looking to give it over to somebody. Was it conservation they were going to give it to? No, 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 no. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Schofield Mill. Yeah. 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 So we should. Complicated project. Yeah. 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 Anything else? Anybody? I think that's, that's great. Yeah. About. Just spent time in October looking at projects that have been out there forever, stagnant. Well, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, we probably. I mean, there's, there's two things I can think of that we have to address that might not be October and there's a bunch of ways to do it is um, one is the the library thing that we didn't fund last year that I mean I think is they have to be put on a different track than they are if they come back with 50 cents less than what they came in with last year we'll be in exactly the same place and mm -hmm. other than the fact that the front of the library is an eyesore forever it begs the question of what's going on with the current yeah, yeah. no uh, yeah I did I talked to Kathleen actually this summer uh, at National Night Out uh, the library director Kathleen and it's it is coming along so they they're working very hard it was very hard like beneath and around the edge of the building so what they kept finding was more and more stuff that needed to be drained away, and that's where all the issues were coming in, all the leakage and yeah. and so forth. So they they have been working all summer. Um, it's just that it's been a lot more. It's just, it she became was, a more complicated project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely was. So it's just you know it has gone slowly, but that's the reason why. But they've been doing it the right well, way. Well, the, the, yeah. the I mean. You know, we've been at those steps, I think, for close to 15 or 20 years yeah. for the project. There's but is it going to cost more? Or are they going to have to come back for more? I don't know if they're going to come back to us, but they're going to, they're going over not, budget. Not, not as of last month. There was no, I'm on the board of trustees, oh, okay. so we talked yeah. about it at the yeah. trustees meeting last month, and there was no yeah. indication. One of the things, if you believe it or not, that delayed the project significantly is the contractor couldn't get rebar. What? Rebar? And materials um, but once they got it then it was back on track but yeah there's been no discussion of um, additional costs so good. I think the other thing that we have to get in sometime during the thing is a combination of the affordable housing trust and what the uh, uh, the housing authority if they want to do anything and just kind of where they are yeah given that that tends to be the focal point of all our housing projects. Mm -hmm. we have, I, I just don't know what to think of right now. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know, yeah. Terry? The Housing Authority has definitely started spending down at a rapid rate all the funds we get. So they had a big yeah. tranche of funds come through. It did take probably longer than they thought. You know, I think it might have been COVID hangover. But I've been signing off on a lot of... You know, that yeah. money's... No, I think that's good. It's just... Yeah. I just don't know where they're going next. You know, yeah. I mean... Yeah. Because we did that study, I think, about six or seven years right. ago. Right. And I don't know if they're staying on track with that or they're going yeah. the I mean, the last thing they direction. came to us for design was Fountain Drive, right? That's the one next to Hafner's, adding, I think, 12 or 14 units there. Yeah. So they came, they studied that, so they may have a... But that's, that's not the housing, right? That's, that's the 
I was entrusted with. No, uh, that's, that's yeah. a good question. I forget who yeah. did the project. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can definitely reach out to both of those groups. That was Laurie's group that, yeah. that went for that, not the... Okay. So maybe I can, Question. we can reach out to all of the above for October and see who, who can make it. And if not, and, and you know, they can come in November and or yeah. we can give them the option, but it might be easier to break it into how the people come in over two meetings. Um, I vaguely recall that we talked about pinging outstanding accounts like quarterly to see where they stood. Is that, I know that happened once, but I don't know if it's happened since then. I think, you know, I think our good, you know, I think it all depends on the administrative staff of the partner that we have. If it's a, you know, if it's the town, they've been doing it, library, they've been very good about that. I think the ones that are more volunteer would just hear less from them. So. You know, I think we, you know, what I was saying was, like, in my ideal world, we could set it up so that, you know, they would just get an email every quarter that said, you know, you know mm -hmm. where are you? But, I mean, we all know, like, does everyone respond to every email that they get? Like, certainly not. Yeah. And so, you know, I think right, that's... Right, but I don't think those emails are going out every quarter. Yeah. I don't, Zach, are we doing them? I get most, I, I've gotten to the point where I get most of the people to send it's not automated. Like I just go through. I go. I have a whole spreadsheet, and I put it in like a public folder. Like I have the next one due October first. So then usually a week before, I'll send out emails and I'll send reminders. But you, I've been pretty good about getting. Like not all of them have responded, but I've been, yeah. So that's I've good. If, down to a good if you have that for October first, yeah, I'll put that on as a yeah. For the next meeting, I'll have like, you'll see like there'll be a folder with a bunch of there's like a whole Google form. Thanks, Zach. I know it's that's a thankless task to chase people for details. Hey, just look at the creditor. Right. Okay. So I've got all those down. That's why Zach gets paid the big bucks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh too much, Zach. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, I think that's it. Um, I did get, and I'll send around. They did do. Speaking of the library, they did do a segment on uh, NACAM North Andover Journal. So I'll I'll forward that around. I just I didn't, but and I haven't watched it because I got it at work and I couldn't listen to it. But uh, I'll send it around. So I I think that's um, Kathleen seemed to think it would be done this fall and we would have a ribbon cutting or whatever she's ordered the signs and stuff so i think that's all great right do you yeah. you you'd probably have better sense no, of the no, sorry. I, I think the last time last update we had she was expecting september mm -hmm. okay um and then we have the minutes of our last meeting um april 11th Do I have any um, motion relative to that meeting? For the minutes, motion to approve the minutes is written. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All set. Any other motions? Uh, the only thing, just one thing I mentioned is if anybody's interested, the uh, on the 19th next Thursday, the Historical Society is having its annual. Uh, Lifetime Achievement Award dinner, uh, and Glen Aspa is the uh, honoree this year. So if you're interested, you can just go to the Historical Society website, get a ticket. So. Okay. Very nice guy. He's done a lot. Super guy. Yes. Yeah. Super guy. Okay. And I think. Oh no, that's not. That's different. Okay. Any anything else? Any other motions? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. We're done. <laughs>